with Cypod 24-7 help here today. And we'll be showing you how to get Mac OS Snow Leopard on your Windows 7 or at least a computer. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. So first off, you're going to need to do some research on your own, checking if your processor is compatible as it has the Intel virtualization technology. Now that's with Intel processors. Now with AMD processors, I'm not sure how it is. So you need to go do some research. But this will work on an AMD processor, so don't worry about that. So then you're going to need to download two things. I'm going to have these links. Um, I'm going to have the links in the description of this video. You're going to need to download VirtualBox, which is right here. That's a program to virtualize um, the, the system you want to operate. And also you're going to need to download the Snow Leopard 10.6.1 slash 2 and this is for Intel and AMD so that's going to be the link also and this is a Pirate Bay download and it, since you're going to download that I recommend you guys have uTorrent and get the newest download for uTorrent after you got all the files um, done downloaded right here Snow Leopard 10.6.2 you're going to get this after you're done on uTorrent just take this just click on it and it should extract extract it to your desktop and right here I have it in a saved folder so here it is and it should be an ISO folder ISO file so here it says ISO and um, now I'm going to show you what to actually do to actually set it up to run Mac OS so you're going to open up VirtualBox right here and then I'm going to delete this because this is not how it's going to be so this this is how the virtual box is going to look when you first download it click new and then next and then name it whatever you want to name it so mac and then make sure the operating system is mac os x and the version is mac os server just um hit these two and then hit next and then you can give it how much ram you want it to make it a more powerful machine but i'm going to give it one gig of ram then you can um, you, right here you're going to make a virtual hard disk just click next then make sure it's VDI and then hit next again and make sure it's dynamically allocated and hit next again and then you can make how big a hard drive you want it to be right here it's set to 20 gigabytes and that should be enough and hit next one more time hit create and then create once more and right here you got your machine so now you're going to tap it and then hit tick um, settings and go down to system right here so once again you just hit the machine and go to settings right there and then go to system and then you're gonna untick the enable EFI special OS's only so you're gonna uncheck it so it should be blank and then you're gonna go to processor you can make it more processors if you like one should be enough and right here make sure these two are ticked so make sure they're both in enabled and make sure once more this is unticked the EFI so then go down right here to display and give the video memory the maximum which is 128 megabytes and enable 3D acceleration so enable that now go down to storage right below it and right here you should have the SATA controller It'll leave that alone and you're gonna just um, remove this attachment and you're gonna hit remove and now click this disk don't click the many disk but click the one disk right there add CD DVD device so you're gonna hit that and then choose disk and then you're gonna find the ISO file for Snow Leopard 10.6.2 on your desktop or whatever wherever you saved it just hit it and hit open and then press OK and now you're gonna start the machine just take the machine and press start and right here is um, VirtualBox running now you're gonna hit F8 hit the F8 key and then when it right next to the boot you're just gonna go on your keyboard and press space hyphen key V and enter so it's space hyphen key V and enter and now it's actually um, just starting it up so let it do its thing and right here we got the setup so I'm going to use English for main language Let's go down and hit the next key 
and right here where it says welcome um you're gonna go up and right here we got the status bar the apple status bar you're gonna hit utilities this is very important because this may not work for you if you don't do this so again you're gonna go up to the status bar hit utilities disk utility then you're gonna go to the hard drive you have made 20 gigs or whatever how much gigs you gave it go to erase so you're gonna tick that and then go to erase right here and then press erase and hit erase so it should erase so it's done and just exit it out <clears throat> And then I'm gonna go down and hit continue. Agree. And then if you didn't do this, you would not see the hard drive. So if you didn't do the erase, you would not see anything and you would not be able to do this. So tap on it and then click continue. Now don't do not install it. It may not work. So you're gonna first before you install it, you're gonna click customize and then you're gonna go and tick the Mac OS X 10.6.2 make sure that's ticked then um, open this up and make sure it's Chameleon 10.5 so get that and then go on kernels and get legacy kernel 10.2.0 so get that and then go down to graphic drivers excuse me I need to get some water okay so then you're gonna go in graphic drivers <clears throat> graphic drivers and enable the graphic enabler right here and then just close that out and make sure you have all this selected and then hit done and then press install so now it should be installing um, I recommend you guys don't skip just let it check the installation DVD and then it should install it takes up to for me it takes like 13 minutes it may take up more if your computer slower or even faster if you have a better processor so I'll be back with you guys after the installation is finished so I'm back guys and the download is finally finished right here you'll get this message system um, it, it's dot com dot apple dot boot dot plus is not found so to fix this error you're gonna go right here you do not want to be in full screen mode so you're gonna go on devices right here it's the third one just click devices and go right here to CD DVD devices and untick the snow leopard um, 6.2 the DVD we used for this process just untick it and make sure it's not there and then click on machine and hit reset so it's just like restarting your virtual machine and you should get this apple logo now and i'll tell you really quick um right here i'm going to switch to full screen um you you can see the black bars around um to change that you're just going to need to go on video info info and then just change it on your snow leopard when you're actually in there but right now i'm just going to boot it up um to show you how this actually works so here we got the apple logo so i'll come back to you guys after it's actually done um loading so here it finally booted up right here you can see and we got the apple music um going if you can hear it in the background right there so you're just gonna select where you live and us so I'm going to hit do not transfer my information right now and you can put in your Apple ID if you want you don't have to so I'm just going to put it in so hit continue so I finished doing all the personal stuff there and right here you can put a password if you want or if you don't just hit continue and you won't have a password hit ok and just, I'm gonna try to go as quick through this as possible so it's creating the account connecting to Apple so it actually does talk to Apple um, so right here we select your time zone just hit continue it should automatically be where you live and here it says thank you your Mac is set up and ready so you can and then shows all the stuff you can do so I put it to full screen and you get this blue screen right here 
um, so it should go away and right here your Apple computer is finally running so here it is Snow Leopard and then just needs to identify your keyboard and then done so here you got Snow Leopard and by the way do not do the software update because you cannot update it it's just gonna crash or your things just gonna corrupt and then you're not gonna be able to use um, this thing we have done so you, you do not click the software update and you cannot u use about this Mac so if you click on it the screen it just turns blue like this and then just goes back so you can't use that but everything else it works right here I'm gonna log out for instance everything's running like a snow leopard and right here you can see the count and so here it is and by the way if you wanna go into full screen just go to view and switch to full screen so that's about it, it for this guide guys and thanks for watching this video thank thank you for watching it and tell me if you have any questions down below tell me if you have any problems if you're experiencing any problems with um this and any questions just leave it down in the comments below